tuned for that great new reality game show. How much will you humiliate yourself on network television to win a <sighs> dollar and a half? I can't watch this show. I don't have any peanuts. <laughs> there. Peanuts. Huh? I can't watch this show. I don't have a Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now I have my peanuts and my Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. <laughs> Except that I don't have my peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no peanut breath. No peanut breath. No peanut breath. But he did have a salami sandwich for lunch with a side of slaw. And speaking of sandwiches, I'm gonna eat mine. And now my sandwich is missing. Odie? <gasps> Swiss cheese sandwich, bowl of peanuts, fine. <laughs> Odie can be annoying at times, but a nose like that is handy to have around. Garfield. We just need to store up body fat so we can hibernate. Hibernate? Yeah, we're the kind of squirrels who hibernate. We sleep most of the winter. Sleep most of the winter? Oh, I like the sound of that. In order to do that, we have to eat an awful lot of food right now. Eating an awful lot of food right now? Oh, that's even better. You guys enjoy my sandwich and peanuts. I have some thinking to do. Huh? Hmm, hibernation. Why didn't I ever think of that before? An activity that combines my two favorite things in the world, eating and sleeping. <gasps> you want to go here for dinner? Albert's all you can eat? <laughs> now you remember what happened last time we went there. What makes you think they'll let you in again? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you know it might work. This is your first day with us, Chester. Do you know what your most important job is? Yes, Mr. Albert. To keep the buffet stock so our customers can eat as much food as they want. No! Your most important job is to keep this cat out! My family has operated this business for 47 years. It has never lost money, except for one Tuesday three years ago. He came in, and I almost had to declare bankruptcy. One cat did that? Not a cat. A stomach with fur. A vacuum cleaner with whiskers. Do come in, folks. Help yourself to our scrumptious buffet, and remember, you can eat all you can oh, eat. Oh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> I mean, um, we've never been here before. So keep an eye out for him, at all costs. I will, Mr. Albert, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm ruined. I'll have to close down, convert the business into a one-hour shoe repair shop. 
<laughs> you people don't want to come in. All I have left is one tiny little black olive. <laughs> Good olive. Oh, oh, me, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, oh. All right, time to start my hibernation. I'll set the alarm for March. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll sleep in, get up sometime around, oh, let's say half past April. <sighs> A snooze. This hibernation thing is a great idea, but I hope I didn't miss springtime. Let's see, how long did I sleep? Nine minutes? <sighs> Maybe I need to store up more body fat for the winter. <laughs> All right. Four months. I'm gonna sleep for four months. But wait, if I sleep that long, I'll miss all my favorite shows. No, I'll catch them in reruns. Hibernation time! <sighs> hey, Garfield! <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I'm going out to dinner with Liz. I don't want any trouble here while I'm gone. If there is, you're in big trouble. How could I cause any trouble? I'm gonna be asleep for the next four months. I love April. Sleep. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. Can't you see I'm hibernating? Come back, say, after uh, St. Patrick's Day. If I'm going to sleep for four months, I'm going to need some quiet. I'll try plugging my ears. And I'll put up this warning sign. <sighs> that got me so upset, I'll probably take forever to fall asleep. you are. I'm hibernating until March. Wake me up and you'll be in big trouble. Wow. This goes double for you, Nermal. Awesome. I have the house to myself. Oh! 
Cody, you're going to be so sorry for waking me up. Gotta get him out of here before John comes home, or you know how mad he'll be. Yeah, about that mad. Uh oh. Okay, everybody out. Party's over. Garfield, I warned you. But I didn't. I mean, Nermal did it. I didn't. What? Are you going to try and make me believe you slept through all of this? Okay, everybody, time to start hibernating for the winter. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Garfield, are you planning to hibernate until spring, too? Might as well. It's not like John's gonna feed me before then. <sighs> now if I can just fall asleep. Calm down, Odie. It's just a little shot. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid of a shot, scaredy pup? Show a little bravery, why don't you? All done. <laughs> See? Now that wasn't so bad. But he was so terrified, so frightened. What a big baby. Say, while Garfield's here, we might as well give him his shot. Well, now there's a good idea. Save a trip back here, just give me my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield, come back here! <laughs> My word! What is that ghastly noise? All done. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. Call the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to me. Call. All done? Huh? That wasn't so bad. Huh? Excuse me. Who is the veterinarian? I am. How can I help you? Oh, well, you can't help me. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Van Gelt, and I'm so frightfully rich I don't need any help. But you can help poor Prince Orloff here. Hello, Prince Orloff. What seems to be wrong with him? He coughed. Twice, I'm afraid. Quick, get an ambulance. <coughs> <laughs> Prince Orloff's regular physician is away. I'm counting on you to cure my precious widow baby dumpling. Uh, Mrs. Van Gelt, I can already tell there's nothing wrong with your precious widow baby dumpling, except he needs to exercise. What? This is my cat, Garfield. Uh, he doesn't just sit around the house all day. He tries to. Well, I wouldn't want any cat of mine to turn out like... like that. A cat needs to run and play. I'll have you know Prince Orloff's delicate paws do not touch ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's time they did. Well, I can see you're not the proper physician for Prince Orloff. Come, dolls! Let us take Prince Orloff home and put him to bed. Yes, madam. Can you imagine a cat living like that? Being carried everywhere and waited on all the time? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, I think I need to get home. Is Prince Orloff comfortable, dolls? 
I placed him gently on the rear seat. Oh! I'm... I'm standing! I'm not on one of those silly pillows! And now... Oh, look at me! I'm walking! I am! I'm walking! Oh, Mother! If only you could see me! I'm actually doing something for myself! You know, Oster, it sure would be great to have a life like that. Servants waiting on you, bringing you food whenever you're hungry. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, and I washed and fluffed the cushions in your bed. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have someone wait on you all the time? No! It's awful! Oh, you feel so helpless, always dependent on someone else. What are you doing off your pillow? I couldn't take any more of being waited on like that. I don't ever want to live in a mansion again. Although, I am kind of hungry. Where do they feed you there? Well, last night we had lobster thermidor au crevette with a Mornay sauce and a raspberry tiramisu. Here, try some of this. It's better. <laughs> That's... well, that's the greatest food I've ever had in my life. What's it called? It's a rare imported delicacy we call lasagna. Oh. Here, I have eight more coming out. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. So what do you do for fun? Mm. For fun? I thought so. Come on, I'll show you what the word means. <laughs> Do that again! <laughs> Whee! Oh, harder, Odie! Push me harder! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Van Gilt. I shall call the police. Your call is important to us, so stay alone. Tell them to search everywhere. My precious dumpling can't be alone for one second. Oh, this is wonderful. She never let me watch. Uh, what do you call this again? Television. Oh, she never let me watch television before. What is this wonderful program I'm enjoying so? It's called a deodorant commercial. Oh! I'll have to try that if I ever sweat. I'm going out. See you later, Garfield. Uh, see you later, Odie. Oh. See you later, Prince Orloff. <laughs> Prince Orloff! Ah! That, that, that woman who owns him is probably frantic. Hello, Liz. Remember that cat they brought into your clinic? Uh, the one on the pillow? He's what, John? At your house? What is Prince Orloff doing at your house? Quick! Huh? Give us the address. What? <laughs> I'll take you down to Vito's and introduce you to the wonders of pepperoni and mushroom pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having so much fun, Garfield. I'm never going back to that mansion. <laughs> For some reason, I think you are. Never! Stop! We had to bring you back! Stop him! Bring my widow baby back to me! I'll bet he's going back to the park. Come on, Odie. We can take a shortcut. My baby! 
baby! Why has my baby run away from me like this? Garfield! Pony! Anybody? I think they're heading for the park. Huh? This is even more fun than watching the odor in commercials. <laughs> ah, he's up there. <laughs> what are we gonna get him down? Now we're gonna do really well, well, I think we gotta get him. Prince Orloff, you come down from that tree right this minute! <laughs> I climbed a tree! Look, look, I, I actually went out on a limb! <laughs> Madam, there's something off about Prince Olaf. He looks different. He does. Something about his face. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> A smile? Why? Why, yes, that's it. He's smiling. I've never seen him smile before. <laughs> Could he possibly be happy? That would be my prescription for your cat, Mrs. Van Gelt. A little less pampering, a little more life. Hey, uh, Sergeant, how do we write up a report on this? Yeah, we don't. The Chief would never believe it. We were right. He is smiling. Oh, my little prince. We have to make sure you get some fun in your life and you don't just sit on a pillow all day. Whee! Well, Garfield, looks like you helped rescue your friend from living in a mansion, being waited on, and never getting to get out and live. Yeah, I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I said I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I'm thinking it over. <laughs> Burgers out in the back, Liz. And Odie's playing with the squirrels again. <laughs> oh, and I brought my binoculars out so I could study any birds that. Hey, where'd my binoculars go? See if there's anything edible going on in the neighborhood. Doesn't look like Mr. Fusilli's having pizza delivered. Nope. Mrs. Krell isn't baking pies and putting them on her window ledge to cool and mysteriously disappear. Hmm. Uh-oh, those guys again. Al and Pete, the worst dog catchers in the business. Doing great, boss. Catching strays all over the place. All it took was promising us that big cash bonus for everyone we bring in. Good. Remember, though, my offer expires this afternoon. Bye. Whoa, I can't wait to collect that money. Hey, there's one. Hey, you guys. 
You couldn't catch a hot dog in a bun. Let's get him! Uh, technically we can't. He's not a stray. He's on his master's property. No, oh, well. Plenty more dogs and cats out there to catch. Let's go! <laughs> Amazingly, they actually seem to have caught some. Arrivederci, guys. Uh, are they gone? Myron, why are you hiding? They're hunting down every stray dog and cat they can find. They're getting bonuses for every one of us they catch. That's awful. But don't worry, Myron. I'll do everything I can to protect you and all the strays. Garfield, lunch is ready. Lunch? <laughs> Just stay out of their way. Bye-bye. <laughs> ha! Ha! Got him! <laughs> Keep playing with the squirrels, Odie. That means more lunch for a certain orange cat. But the squirrels, we have an emergency. Hurry! We need you down there. Huh? Bye. Garfield, how many burgers do you want? Well, how many you got? Huh? What? Must be my stomach. I haven't eaten since noon, and it's almost 12.45. Help! This is a disaster! It sure is. I have six empty buns and nothing to put in them. I'm going to call the gardener, or a geologist, or someone! Whoever you call, see if he can stop on his way here and pick up some burgers. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Someone once said that cats always land on their feet. I'd like to have a word with that person. This is a tunnel. Who would dig a tunnel right under our house? Oh, oh my, oh my, this isn't good. I'm days behind schedule. Knock, knock, anybody there? You there, I must ask you to leave. This is a construction site and I must resume my digging. You're digging? What digging? I'm digging an underground expressway for my fellow moles. Huh? A network of them, actually. We have a hard time going from one place to another. The main reason being that we can't often see where we're going. See these lines? They represent tunnels that will allow moles to travel quickly and safely all over, I mean, under the city. And this is the tunnel I'm digging right now. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Not very. Your tunnel collapsed our entire backyard, and not only that, you ruined my lunch. Sorry, but there is a price we pay for progress. Back to work! Wait, we need to talk. Or not. You know, John, doesn't make a bad hamburger. Mm -hmm. Garfield, those dog catchers have become cat catchers. Hm. They're getting some big bonus for rounding up all us strays. You gotta hide me. I'm busy, Harry, but go hide behind the garage. What a pal. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no. That big bonus is getting larger and larger. <laughs> Garfield, we need your help. Who doesn't? Someone's digging a tunnel that's destroying our tunnels, where we live. If he doesn't stop, we'll all have to move far away. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie. You won't lose your little squirrel friends. I've got an idea. I have to go draw up some plans and then I'll put you in Hey, 
Hey, Digger, I hope you're happy. The squirrels are gonna have to move away. Sorry, but one cannot stand in the way of progress. Before you destroy our home, we thought you'd enjoy a little farewell show. Just to show there's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. eh, I have work to do, tunnels to dig. <laughs> All right, all right, but only a short show. Okay, guys, here we go! Bravo, bravo! Uh -huh. Was amazing, but now I have to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, guys, show's over. Our friend has a tunnel to dig. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Happy digging. Okay, let's see which way I dig next. Oh dear, I've been digging the wrong way. How terrible! I dug east when I should have dug west. Oh, now I'm really going to be behind schedule. Where's the new tunnel going, Garfield? Oh, you'll see. Let's see, now I go left. I don't remember the route going this way, but maps are never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get out of here. I thought Garfield would do something, but I guess he doesn't care about us. Oh dear, this can't be where I was supposed to dig. Oh, it's exactly where you're supposed to dig. <laughs> Come on! This one out here has fleas. Wait till you see how many dogs and cats we caught, boss. You're gonna have to pay us such a bonus. We'll see. We'll see. Uh. Yeah, right. Absolutely full. But, 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 but it was full. It was. You two are the worst dog and cat catchers I've ever seen in my life. You're fired! Turn in your nets and get out! <laughs> Thanks, Garfield. We owe you one. We owe you a lot more than one. Always glad to help. And now I am hopelessly lost. Don't worry. Let me have that plan. I took the liberty of drawing up a new map for you, and I, uh, <clears throat> I even got it approved by the Mole Planning Council. Ooh, I have a lot of digging to do, but I won't stop until it's done. Bye, all of you. Where's he digging, Garfield? Yeah, where, where does the new tunnel go? Well, let's put it this way. In about 18 months, we'll be able to go down this hole and bring back Chinese food. Authentic Chinese food. Hello there. 
If you're waiting for something exciting to happen, forget it. This is an 11 and a half minute cartoon and I'm gonna take an 11 and a half minute nap. Oh, and Odie's not here. He's visiting John's brother out at the farm. <sighs> oh, had John's at work so nothing can bother me. <sighs> Garfield! Wait till you see what I've got here. I don't know what it is, but I'll bet it's a storyline. I brought you a new friend. Thought you could use the company while Odie is staying at Doc Boy's farm. <laughs> John thinks I'm missing this, and this, and this. My editor is out of town, but he's letting me take care of... Ta-da! His parrot, Paxton! <laughs> Aren't you excited, Garfield? Paxton talks! Go ahead, Paxton. Say something. You call this a house? It looks like it was built to store fertilizer for the rest of the world. Uh, uh, <laughs> and this furniture. If you don't want to get rid of it, you'll have to have it reupholstered before the dump will accept it. My editor left the country and didn't take Paxton along. I can see why. Well, I'll let you guys get to know each other. I have work to do. <laughs> so, Garfield. What do you do all day? A lot of this. At first, I didn't know it was a cat. I thought it was a hairy basketball. That's right. I'm taking care of my boss's parrot, Doc Boy. Hey, how's Odie? As you can hear, he's doing great. So, what's this parrot like? Well, he's kind of funny in his own odd way. Right now, he's probably spreading joy all over the neighborhood. Did you know that 62.3% of all mail contains bad news? No, I didn't know. I've been delivering mail for 37 years. Well, don't worry. You won't have that job much longer. Email is already making you obsolete. It is. <laughs> I'll be bringing Odie home later today. Okay, I gotta go. I think my mail's here. See you later, Doc Boy. <laughs> hmm. Hello? Don't call me that boy! What was I going to do next? Oh, right, the mail. <laughs> Herman, what's wrong? <laughs> Here's your mail, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm sorry, 62.3% of it is bad news. But don't worry, I won't have this job much longer. I'm obsolete. <laughs> Did you hear something? If I didn't know better, I'd think it sounds like mice crying. <laughs> Man, have you seen what they're putting in cheese these days? Plus, they're building better mouse traps. I'm just saying. <laughs> and remember, even though Garfield won't eat you, there are plenty of cats out there who will. Paxton, why do you always look at the bad side of everything? Why? Why? Come on, I'll show you why. Watch this. Good afternoon. It's 4 o'clock and I'm Sylvia Tuba Player with the 6 o'clock news. Our top headlines. Today in the world, this happened. <gasps> and in another part of the world, this happened. <gasps> And in several other parts of the world, this happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the stock market. Just trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, that's so depressing. I'll call Liz and see what she recommends. Haven't you ever had fun? Haven't you ever laughed? Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you laugh. Music, maestro.
Wasn't that hilarious? Laugh! I thought I'd never start! You should leave comedy to the pros and stick to what you do best! You are about to become an ex-parrot. Liz suggests we take him to Dr. Whipple. You're not taking me to any doctor! <laughs> Wait! Come back! Good riddance. Having him around was too depressing. Oh, if I lose my boss's parrot, he'll fire me! That's even more depressing. Oh, uh, search the neighborhood. I'll go this way, you go that way. <laughs> we just need to follow the trail of depressed people. <laughs> it's just awful. A parrot told me that I, the core man with a capital G, the world's most famous food critic, is grossly overweight, maybe a few pounds. Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm putting on so much weight. I'm starting to look like Eddie Gourmand, the world's famous food critic. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm annoying and conceited and that I make some people physically sick just to have me around. Hey, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> and there's so much mercury in a fish, you can take your temperature with a halibut. I never knew everything was so awful. <laughs> oh, not only that, but the air that we... <laughs> We're taking you to see Dr. Whipple. And if you're nice, John will buy you some ice cream. Oh, great. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> All right, now, just lie there and tell me Oh, you got to be so utterly and totally negative. Well, I guess it all started when I was an egg. Mm hmm, mm hmm. My mother started passing out recipes for omelets. What? That's awful. Dr. Whipple will cure Paxton's down on the mouth outlook. He's a brilliant man and very strong. Here, <laughs> take this poor parrot home. I can't help him. <sighs> I can't even help myself. <laughs> oh, this is... this is terrible. Hey, if you really feel like crying, wait till you see the bill you're gonna get for this. Uh. <laughs> and not only is this planet doomed, but have you seen the full TV schedule? <laughs> Even massive quantities of lasagna couldn't cheer me up now. Can't you think good thoughts about anything? <laughs> what? Name me one thing in this world that's pure and innocent and happy. Huh? John, I brought Odie back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you too, boy. <laughs> hey, even I'll admit I'm glad to see you too. Huh? Odie, this is our new friend Paxton the parrot. Hey, 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 knock it off, mutt. You don't know where that tongue's been. It's unsanitary. It's messy. It's it's uh, it's kind of nice in a way. <laughs> hey, is he always this happy? Hey, you think this is happy? Try throwing a stick he can fetch. He'll be your best friend forever. Oh, gee, I never had a best friend. I never had a friend of any kind. Huh? Ah. Looks like you've got one now. <laughs> Why 
what's this all about, John? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> it's about a parrot who's finding a whole new way to look at the world. Wow! It's been six months since my boss took Paxton back, and now I can't believe that parrot has his own TV show. What's so odd about that? I have my own TV show, and a darn good one at that. And now, here he is, the most popular motivational speaker parrot in the entire world, Paxton. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're beautiful. And you know what else is, people? Life is. You just have to know where to look. I'll be talking about that on today's show, about how there's wonderment and love and happiness out there if you just let it in. But first, I want to dedicate tonight's show to my best friend forever, Odie the Puppy. Hiya, Odie! Odie, that's you! Well, the 11 and a half minutes is almost up, so this is the end of the cartoon. I'll just add that Paxton's right. Life is great. But it's even better with pizza. Consider how amazing the Earth is. How fascinating each and every person on it can be. God, it is so. For those of you who watch the show in Spanish, hace calor. It's so hot. It's extremely hot. Buddy, we have to do something. We have to get off this floor and come up with some idea how to cool off, right? Okay. We get up on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> it's hot. Boy, is it hot. It is hot. It's so hot. Hot it is so. And we're looking at another week of record temps with no relief in sight. It's really, really hot. How hot is it? It's so hot people are now going on internet auction sites and bidding on shade. It's so hot the Statue of Liberty is wearing a bikini. It's so hot chickens Aww. are laying poached eggs. Who says the news doesn't take things seriously these days? We've only been able to find one man who is pleased about the record-breaking temperatures. It's Mr. Anthony Allwork, attorney and businessman. Mr. Allwork, everyone is suffering so. Why are you so happy about this weather? Well, you'd be happy, too, if you owned all the companies that make air conditioners, ice cream, and sunblock. Want a snow cone? Sure. Fifty bucks. Ah! Some people will make money off anything. But Garfield and Odie had a good idea taking those patio chairs out back. But I didn't hear the back door open. Pull up a chair. I just drank all the lemonade, but you could suck on an ice cube. Mm, Garfield! <sighs> when it's this hot, this is about as fast as any of us can run. That is. Can't be the pizza delivery guy. He melted this morning. Huh? <laughs> Drusilla, Minerva. No, I'm Minerva. 
over. She's Drusilla. Hello, Uncle John! <laughs> what are you doing here? I... Oh, no. Today was the day. Today was the day you promised to take us camping in the woods. You did promise, Uncle John. Yes, you, you promised. But today, in this heat, out in the woods, you can't be serious. All right, you're serious. We'll go camping in the woods, in this heat. Yay! Will the kitty cat come along? You promised us the kitty would come along. We want the kitty cat! We want the kitty cat! We want the kitty cat! I'm sure there's nothing Garfield would like more than to go camping in this heat with the two of you. Lasagna, I'll move in with Nermal, anything! But don't make me go camping with Drusilla and Minerva. Ah! Kitty cat! We want to play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! No! No, Drusilla and Minerva! No! Quick, send me to Abba Dabby. Fourth class if you have to, I don't care. Oh wait, you need a stamp on me. Uh, just hurry, or I'll have to go camping with Drusilla and Minerva. Thanks, I'll take that. <sighs> it's too hot to try and figure this out. <gasps> We're taking the twins camping and that's that. Have pity on a poor kitty cat. I don't do camping. Help! He'll protect us from wild animals. Yay! Camping with Garfield! <laughs> 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 I want to be home, I want to be home, I want to be home, I want to be home. Ah, finally, the tents are up. Now, I know what I want to do. We want to go for a hike. Let's roast marshmallows. Let's play hopscotch. We want to have a dance party. But it's 110 degrees in the shade. Shade? Where? I don't see any shade. I just want to dive in the lake and cool off. Yahoo! Uh -huh. Huh? Wow, the sun is so hot. Most of the water in the lake evaporated. The lovely flowers are drying out. John. What do these kids want? Do they think John can make it rain or something? Phew. Oh. 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 It's raining, it's pouring, all of them is snoring. Odie, huh? all these years, I think we've been underestimating John. Huh? Oh. This will cool everyone off. This will... Uh, hold it. My cell phone's ringing. John's ringtone sounds very familiar. Odie, you recognize that tune? Oh. Kitty cat! We want to play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! Hello. Oh, hello, Aunt Ivy. No, I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy because it's raining. Raining? Where are you? In the forest about five miles from you. Aren't you enjoying this rain? Rain? I always knew you were out of your mind. 
But you're out of your mind! It's 112 degrees and there isn't a cloud in the sky! No, it's raining! And we're out here and... Oh, wait! It isn't raining? <sighs> of course it isn't raining. Hey! It's snowing! <laughs> it's snowing! Just like at Christmas! It's almost a blizzard! Drusilla and Minerva are making a snow Garfield! <laughs> and the real Garfield just threw a snowball at me! Don't you see it's snowing, Aunt Ivy? Don't you see? Aunt Ivy? Are you there, Aunt Ivy? Duh. I gotta get out of this family. Hmm. Odie, don't you think something a little odd is happening? My mistake, I asked Odie to think. Hey, it's getting windy. Uncle John, there's wind. Can we fly a kite? Oh, maybe we'd better get some shelter somewhere. Oh. And now it's hailing! Come on! Uncle John! We're scared! Don't worry, girls. I'm in charge. Now I'm scared. Rain, snow, hail. What's next? Sandwiches? <gasps> Cheese sandwiches! We better get out of here. Let's stick around. Maybe it'll start raining potato salad. Uncle John, that cloud! All that weird weather came from it. And it's moving away into the forest. Where is it going? Want to go find out, guys? Sure. Maybe later on it'll rain dinner. The little cloud! The storm! It went into that house! We'll stay here. We're scared. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Huh? Oh, it's okay. Come on, man. You're not disturbing anything. I was just sitting here controlling the weather. Controlling the weather? Huh? I don't know what it's all about either, Odie. I hope this is a two-part episode so we can find out. Bye. It's a two-part episode. I'm sorry, did you say you were controlling the weather, Mr...? Pre pressure. A high room pressure. Most people just call me high. Hello. And yes, controlling the weather, that's what I do. Or at least I used to. I don't blame you for being confused. Most people don't know about my work here. They think weather just happens. Oh. I always thought it was due to differences between the temperature and moisture in one place and the temperature and moisture in the other. <sighs> it's the educational part of the show. Oh, that's true. They interact and that creates storms or heat waves or snow. But someone has to schedule it and direct it all. That's my job. Before I did it, my father did it. And before he did it, his father did it. And so on. But we plan the rain and the snow and the sleet. An occasional tornado. Oh. Oh, uh, what's that, Garfield? Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. My cat wants to know why you made it rain cheese sandwiches. I did? Uh, 
My lunch must have fallen into the machine again. <laughs> Once I spilled a head of cabbage in a jar of mayonnaise in there. For the next three weeks, it rained cold slaw in Portugal. <gasps> Well, can you do anything about the heat wave we've been having? Plants are dying. Lakes are drying up. I know, I know. I didn't cause it. You see, my operation here got taken over by a big corporation. They duplicated and upgraded my equipment. But I guess they don't know how to use it either. I've been trying to stop the heat wave here. And that's what you have to stop doing. Mr. Allwork, he, he runs the company that took over for me. My technicians say you've been trying to cool things down. Stop doing that. But I thought maybe they'd made a mistake. No mistake. I want it that way. Beasley, tell them to go ahead. Right away, Mr. Allwork. The boss says go. I acquired your operation pressure, but I also bought this building. I know. I'm having it torn down right now so you can't meddle with my plans again. Uh, boss, shouldn't we not be in here? Good idea, Beasley. You didn't have to do that, you know. Yes, I did. Only one of us can control the weather, and that's going to be me. <sighs> there are people suffering from this hot weather. And people buying my air conditioners, my sunblock, and all the other things I sell. The hotter it gets, the more I make. Snow cone, for you, half price, $25. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well snarled, puppy. That is not a nice man. See you later. I have to get back to my office and raise prices on everything. This is all my fault. I never should have let him take over. Hi, Hi Uncle John. John. Where's Garfield? Yeah, where's the kitty cat? <laughs> I saw your cat and dog get into Mr. Allwork's car just before it left. Well, he may be able to control the weather, but he's not going to be able to control Garfield. The big lunch is at two o'clock, sir. Good. I have just enough time to buy three more companies and fire everyone. Nice of that driver to leave his lunch in the trunk. Worldwide Weather Works, please hold. How should I know which button to push? I can't work anything more complicated than the TV remote. Huh? But this is the machine that's controlling the weather, making it so unbelievably hot so they can sell more air conditioners and things. What's happening next? Well, probably some security guard spots us and yells, Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here. Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here! Hey, can I call him or what? Chasing.
everything's ready for the luncheon. And you've just acquired six companies that make heaters, plus nine that make winter coats. <laughs> Good. After we milk this heat wave for all it's worth, we'll start a cold spell that'll really clean up. What was that alarm? I'll go see, Mr. Allwork. Alright, don't feel me now. Something new, indoor rain, for people who don't get out much. Uh -uh. This is all your fault, you two! <laughs> what happened? I crashed into the weather controls, all because of a cat and dog running around. We have to catch them! Ugh. The technicians say they don't know how to stop this. Well, a little rain won't hurt us. We'll catch the intruders and then worry about it. We can't give up, Odie. The future of the planet may be at stake. Nothing can stop us. Oh, look, lunch. You're right, Odie. I'll eat later. But this food gives me another idea. <laughs> Grab as much as you can carry and follow me. A good meal starts with soup. Why haven't my guards caught these intruders yet? Mr. Allwork, do you smell clam chowder? It's raining clam chowder. What kind? The red or the white? <laughs> oh, oh, and now it's raining banana cream pies. And me on a 1,500-calorie-a-day diet. <laughs> Onion rings, diced carrots, a selection of cold cuts. <laughs> I see him, Odie. Quick, pass the canned ham. Okay, cat and dog, you're coming with us. The technicians say in order to stop this, you may have to bring back that man you stole the weather controlling business from. That pressure guy? Okay, call him. I have the feeling my business here is out of business. Mm. Raspberry frosty. He gave me the whole operation back, Mr. Arbuckle. I should have the heat wave ended, but within a day or so. So you'll be controlling the weather again. I don't know. I've been thinking. Maybe I ought to try letting nature take its course. Controlling the weather is a lot of responsibility. Hey, hey! Oh, right. Well, before you give it up, my cat has one thing he'd like you to do, kind of as his reward. Sure. Anything for Garfield. Will you see this, Odie? Huh? We want to play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! Not right now, girls. We've arranged something special for Garfield. Did Vito make the delivery yet? He just got here, Mr. Arbuckle. And I've already programmed the storm to hit just your house. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's cute. <laughs> 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 it's ready <Brady> lasagna. <laughs> 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 oh. 
<laughs> what kind of weather are you dreaming of? A white Christmas? Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>